Hey, everybody's had Nashville hot chicken by now, but I got a whole different twist on it today. We're gonna make Nashville hot chicken dogs with Nashville hot shrimp. We're gonna break out the discotta and do this cook. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm also going to announce the winner of that digital barbecue smart row thermometer from last week's video. Let's get the cook going. One third cup pickle juice. And now we'll add one cup buttermilk. There we go. Next, one egg. And then finally for this marinade, three tablespoons of Louisiana hot sauce. Three tablespoons. Now you just want to uh, mix this up and for all you wearing headphones you might want to uh, make it mute it so I don't make a lot of noise. A bigger bowl would have been better. Just want to make sure I have that egg all busted up and worked in. I've got three chicken breasts. They weigh two pounds total. All right. Now you can trim off, you know, some of this extra fat. You definitely don't need the fat. But, you know, chicken breasts are they're in pretty good shape to start with, it looks like. Just a little bit there. And let me get this one. Just a little bit there. And this end piece. Now what we want to do, and you could use chicken thighs for this, by the way. What we want to do is cut these guys into strips. I don't know, that's probably about an inch to three quarters of an inch. Just that simple. Now I've got a Ziploc bag here. I'm gonna put our chicken in this bag. I hope I didn't move it where you can't see it. All right, three chicken breasts, a Ziploc bag. Now we're going to take that marinade we made with the pickle juice, the buttermilk, egg, and hot sauce. Get it in there. By the way, um, I started this recipe by using Chef John's marinade and then I uh, increased the hot sauce a little bit, increased the pickle juice a little bit. Just want to get as much of the air out as you can. You want at least two hours, you can go eight. Remember pickle brine, if you let it go too long, you know, you might get too pickly. I'm going to put this in the fridge, we'll pick it back up in two hours. Hey, it's been four hours. We got our chicken here. Now what we want to do, take this chicken out of our marinade, trying to uh, get as much off it off as I can as I get it out of the bag. Okay, just drip it down. Now don't throw this marinade away. What we want to do now just pour this marinade in this bag. All right, let's get rid of the bag. Take this chicken. I've got two cups of flour here, two teaspoons of salt. And then hopefully you can see I dredged it there. We're going to put it in that marinade and then dredge it again. And that's what we're going to do for all this chicken. Again, dip it in the flour, both sides. Back in our marinade. Back in our flour. Pretty simple process, right? Got our chicken all done here. Now what I've got are some shrimp. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about a dozen roughly. We're going to put them in that uh, marinade. They're peeled and deveined. Get them good and covered up. Now these guys, we're not going to double dip, right? Because shrimp are a little bit delicate and I don't want to have too much breading on these shrimp. 
So I'm just going to toss them around in this flower. Hey, let's talk about the winner of this Smart Row digital thermometer. Hey, first of all, thanks everyone for participating. Thanks for the Smart Row folks for providing this to me at no cost to give away to one of you guys. Curtis Rogers, you're the winner. You're gonna cook that uh, pork butt. I hope it turns out awesome for you. Here's what you do. Just go to the armadillopepper.com website, use the contact us page. That way you don't have to disclose your email address right here on YouTube and get spammed by everybody. Send us a note, tell us you won, give us your shipping address. We'll get it shipped right out. Congratulations. I've got three cups of vegetable oil and one cup of Crisco. What we want to do is leave about a cup of this oil. I may have poured out a little bit too much. We probably got a half a cup there, but that'll work. Now what we're going to do, I've got the burner turned all the way off. We're going to add in a stick of butter, and melt it down. Let's get that all melted down. This will be perfect. Here we've got some cayenne pepper, brown sugar, garlic powder, paprika, black pepper. You can drizzle it on your chicken. What I'm going to do, look at that. Dows each one. Get that goodness all over it. Yes sir. don't worry about your cholesterol. Last two pieces of chicken. You can see I cooked that one just a little bit too much. And I've got those shrimp. I've got three buttered toasted buns here. This regular old coleslaw, kind you buy at the grocery store, pre-made up, dressing on it, nothing fancy about the slaw. Now, get us a piece of that chicken in there. Get one here. Get one here, like so. Let's get, what do you think? Some of those shrimp, right? I think we've got enough to have three shrimps on each one. That's what I'm talking about. And it wouldn't be Nashville chicken, right? Without some pickles, even though we did put pickle juice in this guy, we want just a few more pickles. Now this middle here, I'm going to put some sweet pickles on it. These are um, this Wickles or whatever it's called. Tammy likes these sweet pickles. Final thing I'm going to do here is just drizzle a little bit more of that oil on there. You know that's going to be good, don't you? That same oil we cooked everything in. There we go. They're all made up. I'm ready to give this a bite. I want this darker one. I like mine. Extra crispy. That was a Miss Wickles. I don't want Wickles. I want the dill pickles. It's good. Let's try one with the dill pickles. <laughs> mm. Jeff took a bite out of my sandwich because I have Wickles on mine. Pickles are spicy, sweet pickles. Oh my gosh, how do you eat this? It's got so much stuff in it. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Get that cayenne. 
Get that crunch from the slaw and the pickles. Wow, that's so good. Heat on one side, and I don't know what it is, calming it down on the other. I think it's the slaw. A little bit spicy. It's super good, and then it has a good crunch because it has the coleslaw, and that kind of gives it like a cool, crunchy tone. Super delicious. Shrimp are fantastic. You have got to make this. Hey, thanks so much for watching another one of our videos.